So we've seen that our friends have each begun to learn how to take small steps to improving their food choices or to becoming more active. But we all know that making a plan is a lot easier than carrying one out. Sometimes obstacles or roadblocks can get in the way of doing what we planned. Like what if we planned on eating a food, but it just wasn't available? Or what if you want to eat something, but your friends are all choosing something else and you just want to feel like one of the group? Or what if you think you're just too busy and too tired to add any more exercise to your day? You're about to see how some common roadblocks might get in the way of plants to exercise better food or activity options. As you watch, think about some alternative ways that each person can work around their roadblocks. Okay, Nicole and Eric got the super meal deal. I could get that too. Let's see, I can save more than a dollar, and I'm getting the bigger burger, fries, and drink with it. Nice. But there is all that stuff we learned from Mrs. Warner about portion sizes when we did our food group reports. But how can I not order a deal like this? Um, I guess I'll just get the, hmm. Hey Dad, look! The Smiths put up one of those basketball hoops. They're all playing ball out there with their mom while the dad's mowing the lawn. Mm -hmm. That reminds me, would you go ask your mom what day the gardener's coming to mow again? Yeah. Hey Mom! Dad wants to talk to you about something! I can't believe this line, again. Same as yesterday. And by the time I get my food, the bell's gonna ring and lunch is gonna be over. Huh, no line in front of the vending machine. I could just get some food from there. I wouldn't have to waste my entire lunch standing here. Hmm. The ultimate diet sensation that's sweeping the nation. Keep the weight off forever while still eating your favorite foods? Wow, if I started this diet today, I could lose a bunch of weight before the dance next month. Hmm, diet looks pretty extreme though. And Anna said that really strict diets aren't the best way to lose weight and be healthy. But this one promises great results without giving up a lot of the foods I like. Gotta show mom. Wonder if she'd do the diet with me. Mom! The new incredible Mega Crunch Snack gives you all the energy your body needs filled with protein and vitamins. Each yummy serving packs a punch! Four out of five athletes choose Mega Crunch, including quarterback Billy Barbells. Mega Crunch Snacks gives me the energy to work out in the field all day long, Frederick. Do yourself a favor. Try Mega Crunch today. Hmm. That's what the guys were talking about at practice yesterday. Billy Barbells is amazing. I'll have to try that sometime. Hmm. Wonder what Coach thinks of Mega Crunch. Thought he said we don't really need special foods to get the nutrition we need to perform on the field. But Billy Barbells, come on. What did I tell you? Everyone knows what happens to the best laid plans when roadblocks get in the way. As we just saw, everyone had roadblocks that got in the way of their plans to improve their food and activity choices. Sarah's challenge all along has been to make healthier food choices. But once again, a fast food jumbo sized meal has been thrown into her path. Gabe's challenge has been to trade some inactive time for active time each day. But did you see his dad on the sofa? Could be a roadblock. Drew's roadblock is that really long cafeteria line at lunch and a vending machine calling out to him. Megan's roadblock is one she's faced before because she reads a lot of magazines that are filled with ads and articles about the latest fad diets. And here comes another fad diet. Mike's roadblock is also one he's faced many times before. He sure admires famous athletes, but he also admires his coach, who's taught him a lot about making smart food choices. So what can they do about the roadblocks they're each facing? Well, it's really helpful to have some alternative plans in mind for ways to work around roadblocks. Let's take a look at what's happening with Sarah. Although she's been learning in school about making smarter food choices, she finds herself having to make another decision about what to order. Should she get the jumbo size meal because that's what her friends got and because she'll save a little money? Should she get some healthier choices instead? There is no one right way around that roadblock, but 
I can think of a few different ways that Sarah could work around it. She could order the same types of foods her friends got, but instead of the jumbo sized portions, she could order the regular sized portions, which are the right sized portions for one person. She could also order milk as her drink instead of the soda. Another way around the roadblock would be for Sarah to pick healthier options from the menu. So along with the regular sized hamburger, she could choose the fruit and yogurt parfait instead of the fried fruit pie. Or she could choose the side salad instead of the french fries. By making different choices, she would cut way down on the amount of fat, sugar, and calories she would get in the jumbo sized meal. These are just a few ideas. Can you think of more ways? And what about the roadblocks you saw facing Gabe, Drew, Megan, and Mike? What kinds of different solutions or alternate plans can you think of that would help them to work around each of their roadblocks?